Hello, my beautifuls. And happy May Eve or Beltane, whether if you're watching this in person or if you're watching this as a recording. I am a magical Michelle, if you're getting this from a friend. And I just wanted to come on and share this like most beautiful and sacred of holidays. This is for me one of the most sacred of all the um, all the the Celtic holidays, the wheel of the year. This is the um, eve of May and in half of the world it is the equivalent to the beginning of the embodiment of summer but in parts of the world it is also known as the night before Samhain. So half the world is opening up to summertime and flowering and the other half of the world is um, ready to slow down. But one thing that is so clear to me that this night and for the next several days and nights, the veil between the worlds is very, very thin for those who are um, embracing the um, embracing the magic. This is the this is the moment of magic. This is the embodiment of being able to see beyond um, the veil, the embodiment of feeling and expressing divine love. And, and so what I want you to do is take a moment and embrace divine love with me today. This is the celebration of the union of the masculine and the feminine. The time where the fairies are coming into their their power because this is their time is fairies are the guardians of the land the guardians of flowers the guardians of things in bloom plants and animals and trees and land and so we open this veil between the fairy realm as they are coming in and we are welcoming in summer we are welcoming in um, the energy of being um, and it's a rebirth so I see Tina that you're saying that you're exhausted it is possible that your body is being uh, is asking you to rest to maybe even sleep and take that extra time to rest and be united in yourself it is um, for part of the part of the planet it is Samhain so we also have the veil between the worlds is thin for those in spirit on both sides of the planet so those of you there are a lot of of energy where there's a lot of people crossing over into spirit right now so we take a moment and um, allow for that transition to go too so to me this day is all about death and rebirth and so it's the birthing of summer and potency and flowers but it is also the end of a season in part of the world so so everything is the same um, there is always a death to be reborn and there is always a rebirth in death so allow yourself to let go allow yourself to think about what is no longer serving you and go off into the shadow with it and let it go so even though this is Tauranian energy Taurus energy it's um, home and Venus it is ruled by Venus and she is in her glory and we are in the feast of flora in part of the um, world is celebrating the flora um, uh, happy, uh, happy May Day, Caitlin, as well, and to all of those others of you watching, Brenda and Ramona and Evelyn and my, oh, Mecca and Tina and, oh, hi, Jamie and Anita and Angelo and Jennifer, wow, and Diane, wow, we have a full house tonight. So, so take the moment, this is a fire 
celebration. So I've, as you can see, I've got a lot of candles lit. There's the Empress celebration. There's, there's the bountiful, there's decadence in the air. And so we have the sun in Leo. Hi, Katie. Hi, Jennifer. Um, so we have this Leo potency. We have um, a lot of people as the moon goes into Virgo over the weekend with the sun being in, in Venus, Taurus energy and the moon being in Virgo energy, we're going to want to clean our homes and organize and we're going to want to eat decadent food or maybe we're going to want to start a health regime. Um, we've got a full moon coming so we're, we're not nearly at the full moon. The full moon is until Wednesday but we have very active, Wednesday or Thursday, so we have very active, potent, we want to come alive. For a lot of people we've been cooped up for a while. And so we want to find a way to come alive and emerge and, and pull the potence and find beauty and find that, the word I keep getting intuitively is decadence. We have been um, in a womb of seclusion and butterflies, they go into the womb and as they, as they come out and emerge, they, they become empowered and, and take flight. So this is our, our emerging. Oh, thank you, Katie. The seventh of full moon. So I'm going to do my ceremony on the, t on Wednesday evening, because I'd like to do it, um, the energy of the night before. So, um, keep that energy as opening this week. Keep this energy as blooming and emergencing, emerging and uh, creating and and allowing. There's we've been in such a cocoon. This is about allowing yourself to open up, allowing yourself to bloom, allowing yourself to be creative and to be joyful. And so many people are you know, a home and they're not seeing people and they're not feeling pretty or they're not feeling nurtured or they're not feeling loved. And so this is a, this is a holiday about sacred union. And I felt into it, you know, what's going on in the energy field that's different since we are in a seclusion. We are asking for sacred union of self, our own divine union. So tonight we're going to talk about divine union and self-love. So to do that, what do you have to burn down in the magic of letting go? Do you have to let go of expectations? Maybe you had thought you could get so much accomplished in this time and you were like, well, I didn't do that. Maybe maybe you gained 10 pounds. Maybe, maybe you, um, you're, roots are showing and your nails are chipped and, and you gain 10 pounds. Or maybe you thought you were going to paint your entire house and it didn't happen. So just remember to give yourself some slack. Let yourself be forgiven. Go into this energy of radical, radical acceptance right now. What do you have to accept? Maybe this situation isn't so easy for you right now. But that doesn't mean you can't accept who you really are, accept that it is time for you to be empowered, accept that you're ready to empower. So it is, it is that joy energy coming out. Oh, thank you guys for the compliments. And yes, the candles are in celebration of the fire festival. This is one of the main fire festivals. We have four holidays. Um, and this to me is the, um, is the power of the energy of allowing yourself to, to embrace that passion, ignite that creativity, burn down old beliefs, let go. I, you know, if you think Phoenix, this is the fire of re-rising, rebirth. And so often this was the time where in ancient times, the maidens would go looking for husbands. Um, they would, the men and the women would bring their daughters and their sons to, to the maypole, to dance the maypole and to, 
to different festivals. And even before that, there were deeper festivals where they would go out into the into the land and they would have this sacred union of the masculine and the feminine so that I could, they could unite in the land and allow the land to be birthing into this sacred celebration and therefore give abundance. So this is a holiday of abundance. They would um, set fires to the right and to the left and they would run the cattle through these fires with things like sage and and um, other herbs that would actually purify the cattle. Well, now we know that they would actually be killing off bugs and, and infection. So we, the act of smudging between two massive fires, they would run the livestock between these fires and, and this would bring about a good summer and, and really we find that the science is behind that too. So this is a celebration of life and a celebration of love and a celebration of growth. And so tonight we're gonna start by smudging. I have some, some sage, which is not Celtic, it is far more Native American, so we thank the Native American, um, who also, had a celebration at this time for, you know, growth. This is, if it was a cold winter, this is a time where everyone is out in the fields. And so allow, as I open this sacred smoke, allow yourself to cleanse. Take the sacred smoke into you. And by air and by fire, purify your thoughts, allow your mind, allow your electronics, allow your fears to be put into the sacred fire, into the smoke, to be dissipated, to be released, to be let go. So here we use the sacredness of the flame and of the smudge to let go of what we hold onto so hard. We let go of old thoughts, fears, and judgments. So place into the smoke, place into the air, and release. And by this element of air, we call into us dawn. So the air is the new beginnings of the springtime. Air is the element of spring. And so we call into the element of spring, a rebirth, a renewal, and dawn in our lives, this opening of a new time, as we are just now starting to emerge, starting to awaken, starting into a new form of being. Set your attention like a birthday candle and close your eyes for one moment and make a wish. I blow it into the wind. And I wish for each of you transformation and renewal and rebirth and abundant growth and abundance of all that you desire and all that you need coming forth with grace and ease and love and joy into your heart, into your life and into your mind's eye that you are inspired. We set the in energy of inspiration at this time, that you are inspired, that you're excited, that your mind's eye is open to new possibilities rather than closed to old. So let go of what no longer serves you. Let go of things you're holding on to just because that's the way it always was and ask for inspiration of how it can be. Allow yourself to move into the energy of show me, show me the path, show me the new way, and allow yourself to follow. So we welcome the element of air, and we welcome the element of the east, and we welcome the rise of the spring and the summer 
and the sun as it comes into its power as we welcome in the union of the masculine. Thank you, we wish you hail and welcome. And as we come into this, we come into summer. We get closer and closer to the summer equinox and farther and farther away from the winter equinox and the days get brighter and the days get so much more hot and so much more potent and so much more powerful and the fields go from just seed to green and the, and the animals, they begin to play. Over the last few days, I have saw peacocks and cranes and lizards and snakes and all kinds of animals reclaiming. So this is Mother Earth's time and we come into the potency of summer and the power of the South. And for this, we come into the energy of fire. And so we light our Beltane fires. And while we may not be gathering in large groups together, to celebrate these fires, I ask you to celebrate maybe with a candle, but if not, with my candle. As I hold here the flame, the sacred flame of our Beltane fire together, and I light this flame with grace and ease and love and joy. Okay, maybe we have to light it twice. Okay, maybe we have to light it three times. And so maybe that is exactly the lesson in this, is patience and fortitude, and that some fires need to be struck multiple times to come into full fruition. Okay. Or four. <laughs> so... This fire holiday is a little bit uh, slow to start. I think maybe I got some bad matches. I have a solution though. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so I think there's a lesson in the fact that our fire took us multiple tries to ignite. And yet, did you see me not give up? So as we ignite our fire, even if it takes two tries, three times, four times, five tries, never give up on your flame, never give up on your dream, never give up on your passion, because there's always a way when there's a will. So by the energy of fire and by this purification rite, we call in the energy of fire into the energy of flame. We ask that this flame purify, ignite, and bring in our dreams. That this color of red, this color of spring, this color of the richness of passion and creativity and the fires of flame and the energy of summer as we come into the heat, as we come into this transformation, that we do not give up and that we burn deep in our hearts. Thank you, fire. Thank you, the element of the South. We bid you hail and welcome. And as we move into the West, this is the era of the goddess. This is the chalice. This is water. This is that which quenches us. This is our psychic ability. And this is the same energy as they are getting on the other side of the world. For those of you who are watching from the south part of the world, this is the energy of water, of Samhain. And so we ask for the waters to cleanse us. We ask for the waters to purify us. We ask that we are quenched, that our thirst is quest, quenched, that our, our the element of water is brought into us, that our element of psychic ability is brought into us, and that we are purified by the element of water in the direction of the West. We bid you hail 
and welcome. And for that, I have sacred oil to anoint my forehead. And I anoint your forehead. And I add it to the inner palms of my hands. And I rub them together. And this is for receiving, that we are open to receive. So I send the energy of that you know how to receive, that it is safe to receive, and that you already do receive the energy of the feminine divine, that the goddess comes within as the God comes within. So we bring and awaken the masculine. We bring and we awaken the feminine within us as we come into this time of unification. We bid you hail and welcome. And lastly, but never leastly, we bring in the energy of the earth, the pure energy of flowers and crystals and land as our mother earth is here to heal and to grow. This is her time and so we we call upon this element of earth to ground us, to allow us to be here on this planet, regenerating, growing, and becoming abundant and healthy. So we bid you, the Divine Mother, the Earth, Gaia, we ask you, the element of North, to come and be with us tonight. We bid you hail and welcome. And by this, we set an etheric field so that each of us watching here tonight and everyone who will watch and gather with us in the next days to come for this ritual is really good all the way through the weekend if you're watching and it's saturday sunday even up to monday this is still the energy we ask that this field as we connect in hands the right hand to the left hand in circle i want you to close your eyes for one moment and feel all the other people in the circle the gathering here together tonight today and tomorrow in celebration in awakening and in joy so we close this circle above and below and through us as the etheric circle is brought into us into the divine and we ask for the masculine to come in. And the masculine energy is that of empowerment. That in this time, that we ignite action, righteous action. And as we come into the summer, we are fulfilling our new way, our opportunities. Instead of looking at what is wrong, we are looking at what is possible. What is it we desire to grow? What is it we want to take action on? And if you have a journal and you'd like to write this action down, go ahead, take some steps, write it down because he of the fairy sword is asking you to take clear, powerful, forceful action into this world, into this new development. How do you want to show up passionately? How do you want to show up in the world? So often in this time, at this ritual, we would have the stag and we would have the, the energy of the masculine be embodied by that which is action. And so we take our action and we take our love and we take it out into the world. And how can we act upon our love? Maybe it's something as simple as buying a gift for the person behind us in line. Maybe it is opening the door for someone who has their hands full. Maybe it is sending an air hug to a stranger that looks like they're having a bad day. But how do we act? How do we be kind? But maybe it is even bigger. Maybe we are being asked to ignite our own divine action in the world. Maybe there is a book that you've been writing Maybe there is a video that you've been wanting to create. Maybe there is a thing that has been ready to be built in your garage or a garden that's ready to be planted. This is the time. Maybe it's an application for a new job. Maybe it's, it's 
actually just resting. Maybe it's going for a walk. Now is the time to ignite that masculine, fiery sword action, a potent action into your life. And so we call upon the masculine divine and we activate through every cell of your body the action of divine will with inside of you. So I want you to close your eyes for one moment and feel the next stage of action come inside. See if your intuition does not guide you to what is the next step? What is the next stage? What is it that you need to know? Mm. And make it a sacred commitment to self. And as we move into the feminine, we use feminine intuition and the power. What is it we're going to plant? What is it we're, we're garden we're tending? What do we have to water? What do we have to nurture? Maybe this is a, a trip to a sacred well. Maybe this is a trip to, to the ocean, if you live in Florida, that was reopened. Maybe it, it was a trip to your bathtub or a foot soak. What is it that you want to purify and release and renew? What is it that you want to grow? What is it you want to plant? The sacred divine is that of purification and growth. It is also about self-nurturing. So what is it that you must take inside, inside of you? What is it you're allowing to birth in the creative energy? Also the creator, creative energy of fire. Is there something you are igniting? Is there something you're sparking? Is there something you're bringing to life? Take a moment and set that intention. Close your eyes or journal it into being. And make the sacred commitment of what is the first united action. Hmm. And so we activate your ability to receive. And so as we anointed our palms and our forehead, the forehead is to receive divine wisdom. The Sophia wisdom, the Mary Magdalene wisdom, the Quan Yin wisdom, the wisdom of all the goddesses, Venus, Apona, Isis, Anana. There's too many to name, but the energy of the goddess, the wisdom of the goddess, and the sacred intuition of your own divine, divine receiving at this time, as the veils are thin. But we also ignite within us the energy of action and receiving. We receive the bounty, that we receive the funds that we need to receive, that we receive the riches of life, that we receive the wealth of life, that we receive the nurturing, the sleep, the health. So let's activate your youth and vitality. Activate within you your 12 strand DNA that you are ever regenerating, ever youthing, ever becoming more glowing with radiant health. And if you do have health concerns right now, let's place them into the sacred fire to be burned away. Releasing your worry, bowing your head and releasing your worry looking up toward a new future, allowing yourself to open up to the possibility of, I can be well, I am healthy, and I am whole. So I'd like to take each of you in this moment and send an activation of divine union that you are 100% whole in self, that all of your soul fragments are brought back to you from everywhere and that you are healed from all negative relationships, whether that is one with a man, a woman, a friend, a family mother, a mother, a father, a student, a teacher, a coworker, a boss, an underling, anyone that has ever harmed you, that you return yourself to whole through time and space and dimension and reality, healing the father bloodlines, healing the mother bloodlines, and healing the sacred union in self you are 100% whole on this sacred day as we come from 
May Eve into full day of May 1st Beltane and through the sacred days of the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd of May. As we are in the full abundance of the celebration of life that is now, at this cross-quarter holiday, we activate you into full union of self, sacred union of heart and mind and soul. That you are blessed to the right of you, that you are blessed to the left of you, that you are blessed in front of you, behind you, from the earth below and the sky above, that you are divine union within, uniting at each chakra, uniting at the masculine and feminine, uniting your right and left brain, your right and left side of your body, your feminine and your masculine, balancing your hormones, balancing your energy field, balancing above and below, and that you are united in divine within, that you understand that you are one with the all that is creating this sacred space within, without, as above, so below, so it is. And so it is. And so it is. Blessed be. Blessed be. Blessed be. From within us and without us, it is done. On the etheric field, it is done. And from my heart to yours, as divine witness, it is done. So, as you make this sacred commitment to self and the sacred commitment to the union, take a moment, take a pause, and think about the gifts that you have. This is a celebration of gratitude for all that you already have, all that you have ever received, and all that is to come, that you are in sacred union of receiving, that you know, that you know, that you know, that you know that all the gifts that you have asked for come in through the energy of the divine, through the energy of all that is, forgiving anything that is not already here, for knowing that you really are a divine creator or creatrix and that you can and will and are manifesting for your own next layer right now. Do not worry about what you do not have. Think about what it is you want to create in this moment for thoughts or things. And the thoughts that you are creating right now are the future. The thoughts that you thought in the past are your current present. So the present is the present and the future is what you're creating. So think about what you would put in the box if you were shipping, shipping it to yourself. So let's create a sacred box. And maybe you have a journal you want to write some things into that you're creating at this time. This is a powerful week of manifestation. It's a powerful week of bringing all of this into you. It's a powerful week of looking for the next, toward the next five months, next five years. Venus is empowered in the sky. She's made her five year to eight year rotation, making her, her eight year rotation, making her five pointed star. This is a time to look at the next eight years and what it is that you wish to bring in and allow. And I do say allow because our negative thoughts cut off our receiving. What are you going to allow yourself to receive? What are you going to see as already divinely yours? And that you feel the energy of that you are worthy, that you are completely enough, that you already are filled to the overflowing of the abundance that through all of your cells that you are overflowing so it's just take a moment and imagine yourself as a chalice 
a chalice that is filling from the sacred wells. Hi, Sherry. Sherry just came on and she is right there in Glastonbury or just outside of, of the sacred sites. Imagine that the sacred sites are refilling your cup, refilling your chalice, refilling your well, that everything that you need to be replenished is yours at this time, that you are refilled, overflow, that you are rich in wealth, rich in health, rich in abundance of friends and family and energy and support and creativity, that the flow of the waters and the flow of the energy is never going to stop. It is always there to replenish you. It is always there to overflow so that there is enough for you and enough to give and enough to serve. That as you come into the energy of your purpose, you are igniting your purpose into the light of the Beltane fires into the light of the May Day flowers, into the energy of the water, the earth, the air, and the fire. As we create the divine union of the masculine and the feminine, we create the divine union of the elements, earth, air, fire, water, and spirit, ether, akasha, above and below and the divine. From the divine within, the divine without, Take it in and receive this activation of self. This activation of light codes, sound of my voice, and the sound of your own heartbeat. As Mother Earth is connecting her heartbeat to yours. As we send out healing to every heartbeat on this planet, that Mother Earth is renewed and rejuvenated as we are renewed and rejuvenated within her and upon her. And as we send the fairies and the spirits and the ancestors our love, as we celebrate our own divine, we celebrate the divinity in every one of us. I celebrate the divine in you. I see the divinity within your eyes your ears, your mouth, your nose, your throat, your heart, your womb space, your root chakra. I see the divinity as you are a walking embodiment of the divine, the masculine divine, the feminine divine, in union. So as I honor me, I honor you. As I honor you, you honor me. We are whole and we are one, and we are the divine. So I will leave this here for you, my sacred sisters and brothers, and I will set so much love into the field today, tonight, and tomorrow. And as we release this circle, know that it is truly never broken. As we release the element of earth, we know that she is always with us as we walk upon her and nurture her as she will nurture us. And as we release the element of water, we know that the rains will purify and the oceans will get cleaner and the waterways will be freeing. And as we release the energy of fire, we also release the energy of transformation within and without. And the masculine energy of the summer as we re reunite with the energy of the sun. And as we release the energy of air, we remember that every time we breathe in, we get the dawn, we, beget, we get the new beginnings. And so, as we release the elements, we thank them for their service here tonight and they're always with us. We thank the elements and we use them. We're aware of them. We acknowledge them in our daily lives. And as we 
move forward, we move into the energy of the divine. As we release the masculine divine and the feminine divine, we thank the Lord and the Lady. We thank the God and the Goddess. We thank those who have been here with us tonight. We walk with them. We walk in them and they in us as we embody the spirit, as we remember our God self, our goddess self. We thank them for our remembering. We thank them for their guidance and we remember who we really are as we awaken. As we awaken in this new world, in this new place in history, it has never been more important to remember how divine you really are every day and to thank the energy of all that is for the gifts that we receive, for all that we already are and all that we're becoming, for we are awakening, for we are becoming more. We are already enough, but we are allowed to be so much. Never forget to grow and to bloom. Never forget that it is your birthright to expand and explore and be creative and be beautiful and be joyful. And also remember that you already are. You already are, my beauty. I see inside each and every one of you. I see you. I see you. I witness your divine and I witness your potential and I activate it at this moment. Take a moment and see your own divine and allow it to come forth. <sighs> and so it is. And so it is. And so it is. By the energy above me, below me, to the right of me, to the left of me, in front of me and behind, we open this circle as above, so below, so it is. We open ourselves but we are staying connected. We are staying in our empowerment. We are staying as our union. Oh, my beloveds. Thank you for sharing this most beautiful and sacred holiday with me tonight, tomorrow, whenever you watch it. I, I just honor you. I honor you. And so please, please allow me to wish you a happy and joyous Beltane. A most beautiful and glorious spring time going into the fiery hot fires of summer. Allow us to receive the gifts of the divine. I see them for you. You're super welcome, Jennifer, and to everybody. I'm, I'm so excited to see each of you. And so I've also committed to doing full moon next week. So we'll be back um, here on the Facebook channel or if you're watching this on YouTube. I'm going to be recording them live on Facebook and posting them up to YouTube so people can watch them as recordings. I, um, I have a lot um, of wonderful things being offered right now. We're starting the Akashic Records in May, so I've got a special right now where it's half off just because I want people to have access. So I've never taught the Akashic Records online before, so I'm doing that. Um, and making that like super affordable and I had just the most amazing oh you're welcome Tabitha I love you and I love you Diane and I love you Katie oh, 
I just love every single one of you. Oh my God, I'm so in love with you um, right now. I am filled with the union of love. Um, I can just feel every one of your little hearts and souls and, and actually it's, there's nothing little about you. Your powerful souls, your powerful energy, your embodiment of the divine. I feel you, I see you, I witness you, each of you that have shown up. And those who are coming, I can feel you too. So if you are watching this later, I can feel you here in the circle as well. But yeah, I got great news. So I am celebrating. So I know there's a few Theta Healers on here. I am so excited to finally be able to teach Theta Healing online. I've been wanting to take most of my coursework online for the last year. I've been gearing toward this and just the opportunity. Um, I got my letter today that I am a, able to teach online. And so I'm just, I'm just ecstatic. So I have so much gratitude. What are you grateful for? Do you guys have some gratitudes that you can type in before I go? Maybe I'll pull a goddess card while you guys type in your gratitude. Does anyone have an awesome a celebration or a gratitude? And anybody who needs to pop off, we circle is closed and I'll see you on the full moon. But if you guys want to stay on for a few minutes to just be in communion, um, this would be when we'd share cakes and ale or a celebration. So we'll just celebrate for a few minutes. I'll pull a card. Let's see what goddess wants to come in. Oh, snap. Aphrodite, the goddess of love. So I love this Colette Baron Reed deck and it is Aphrodite, romantic love. Um, just, I mean, she's an embodiment of Venus and Ishtar and, you know, just, oh, Jennifer, celebrating five years of marriage. I was there um, five years ago at, on this night. We watched, it was a full moon for Jennifer, and she had her pre-wedding night celebration at Disney with fireworks on May Eve. So happy anniversary to you and Corey. I just love that. Oh, I love that. So... Oh, waking up to cat snuggles. <gasps> now I'm jealous. Cat snuggles are the best. Diane, the beach is open. And I have a secret. I live in Florida and I'm going to the beach tomorrow. So yes, I am too. I'm grateful. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing the ritual tonight. Because I am going to be no media, no media, no cell phone. And I'm going to be on the beach. Oh, just pulled a Pona. She's perfect for, for today too, Diane. Oh, that's wonderful. Let's pull another one. Just because maybe romantic love and Aphrodite doesn't resonate for everybody. Let's pull another goddess. Uh, okay, so this is the goddess of healing. So some of you might need some healing, whether that's financial, emotional, spiritual healing overcoming some kind of depression, overcoming some kind of hardships right now. Um, so this is just saying that we are now healing. We are now emerging into that next phase of life. We are, oh, I really feel like it might never be obviously the same, but one one day at a time, we're gonna step into to a new way of being. And some of us feel like we're better than we were. I feel better than I've ever felt before. So I have such gratitude for this um, uh, time of solitude. I called it a sacred, um, I just called it a solace, you know, a sacred time. Um, I did a lot of journaling. I've done a lot of meditating. I've done a lot of soul seeking in these last um, six, eight weeks. So, and, and it's interesting because I s almost started my um, my quiet time, I started it like March 1st. I went on vacation to the beach with my mother and we were we were secluded. There was just three of us there for, for a week. And so I've been in solitude since the 1st of March. And um, so I'm ready, I'm ready to emerge into a shining new goddess self. Um, and I'm, I'm glad to have shared today with all of you. 
So I love you. You all just, you have so much of my heart. You have become so important to me. Um, the people that are on here, you know who you are. You, almost all of you have some form of deep connection with me. The, I see Jennifer and I see, oh my goodness, people popping on that I didn't see before. God, I love you. Oh, Heather. Hi, Sister Heather. It is so good to see you. So I think on this note, I'm going to close this and know that know that this is a great time for beginnings and even if you feel heavy this is a great time to release that heaviness and release that burden and know that this is a time of divine love and if you are heavy just remember to love yourself and if you are lightening your load, just remember to go out and create and be playful and joyful and, and fun. This is a fun, fun time of year. So happy May, everybody. Happy, happy May. So one last, um, one last round of gratitude and love for all of you. This circle is complete and yet we will always stay in each other's hearts you in my heart and in my mind i love you and just remember to do at least one little magical thing and send me a note to tell me tell me what your magic is at this time okay Mwah.